Hi DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over whether or not the IQ2 or the IQ2 Plus, in my case, supports partitions. Now, the IQ2 or the IQ2 Plus used to be a single partition alarm system. However, when, Quil when Quilxis released the software version 2.3.0, uh, they actually enabled the system to do partitions and to be exact you can actually do four total partitions on an IQ2 or an IQ2 plus system. Now you may be wondering what in the world is a partition? Well a partition is basically whenever you get a group of zones and you basically separate them from the rest of the alarm system. So for instance let's give you an example of something. Uh, let's say I have an office and uh, my office is in my house and I want to completely separately control my office sensors apart and separately from my home sensors. You can actually set your office as a separate partition from the main home. That way, whenever you arm your house, you can leave the office disarmed or vice versa. You can always leave the office armed and disarm the house that way if you know if anybody's moving in you can always keep track of who's who's going in and out of the office whenever nobody should be so you can independently arm a group of zones um, apart from the main system and again the IQ2 or the IQ2 plus has four partitions that you can do that with um, when you're on software version 2.3.0 now typically this is not common for a wireless system to do um, mostly Partitions used to only be like allowed on wired alarm systems such as a uh, Vista 128 BPT does like six or eight partitions. It's like a crazy amount. Um, so like seeing partitions on a wireless alarm system is actually a huge step up from what all these other companies out there are doing. So the fact that IQ2 Plus was actually able to do that with their alarm system is actually pretty nice. And it makes it a lot easier for you guys out there who are looking to install a nice looking touchscreen system in a commercial or residential location and you guys need partitions. Well, the IQ2 Plus would be the way to go. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get, I'm just gonna show you guys real quick what the partitioning would look like, right? So if your panel is on the firmware version 2.3.0, you now have to enable the partitions. So to enable partitions, you do have to have the installer code or dealer code. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the uh, little settings icon at the very top, it's a little gray, uh, gray tab up there, and you're gonna hit settings on the, on the bottom. And after I go into settings, I do need to go into advanced settings. Now it's gonna ask you for a, a code. You need to know your installer or dealer code. If you have a new one, the default ones are 1111 as the installer code or 2222 as the dealer code. If you're monitored by a company and those codes aren't working, it could be that they've changed the codes on you. And if that's the case, you wanna make sure you have those codes. This is your system, you should be able to do with it as you like, especially if you wanna add or remove sensors or change any settings, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in 1111. That's just my normal installer code. I'm then gonna to go to installation. I'm gonna to go to installer settings, and I'm just gonna scroll down a little more, a little more, a little more, and you're gonna see partitions. Partitions will be under the general, general uh, list. All right, now you can see here partitions is currently disabled, meaning that you will not see partitions at the moment. However, once I hit the little green check mark on the right hand side, are you sure you wanna enable partitions? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit yes. The panel will go ahead and reboot. It's gonna ask me to enter in a code. Depending what code you enter in will determine what, um, what I guess, I guess you can say what user the alarm system is going to go in. So for instance, right now my alarm system has a user code named Michael um, and that has access to partition one only. It has a master user code which has uh, access to all partitions one, two, three, and four. And then you can also enter in your installer or dealer code if you're going to be adding more sensors. So for instance, right now, if I enter in my, uh, my user one code, uh, which is going to be uh, a normal partition one code. I'm going to just enter in 8888. It'll say good morning, 
the username, which for me was Michael, and uh, you'll see it says partition one disarmed. But I only have access to partition one because that's all that the user was given permissions to. Now, if I go ahead and go back into here, I'm gonna hit the icon. In order to switch the users or to switch partitions, you need to enter in a different user code. I'm gonna go into my lock screen again so I can bring up my keypad. And when the keypad comes up, I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my installer code so I can show you guys what adding a different sensor into different partitions would look like. So once I enter in my installer code, I'm now basically entered in as the installer. The system recognizes me as, okay, this is the installer. He's going through the panel. So I won't need to enter in um, my installer code again when I go to advanced settings because it's already using the code that I used to unlock the lock screen. So I'm gonna to go to installation, devices, security sensors, and I'm just gonna show you guys how you can change the partitions, see? Partition one, partition two, partition three, partition four. And whatever sensors you learn in, you just switch the partition you wanted to, and uh, that is, uh, that's pretty much how you can control the partitions or how you can, um, uh, how you can control partitions, add, uh, different sensors to different things now obviously when you guys get the partitions you guys are going to play with it You're going to make it as you want you may only be using one partition You may be using all four who knows but if you guys do have any questions about the partitions Feel free to contact us at support at alarmgrid.com if you guys found the video helpful Make sure you hit like underneath subscribe to the YouTube channel and enable the notifications So whenever we upload new content you guys get notified. I'm George and I'll see you guys next time